the we all well, be it a fair arc, you are picking the crime a business choice. in Elizabeth City is offering a sweet deal to help take back the community from crime. The owner says it's a way to stop the rash of violence in the city. New tonight, Tending Your Side's Lauren Moss shows us how. This is Frosty Snowball. It's right in the heart of Shepherd Street in Elizabeth City. It's somewhere you can come and get sweet, delicious treats for an affordable price. But the owner tells me it's more than just about the snowballs. It's about bringing this community together. The neighborhood needed something. Elizabeth City native Reuben Houston is frustrated with the recent rise in crime. It's a lot of shootings around the city that are senseless. And maybe if the kids had something to do or something to do at that moment. <laughs> Listen, man. They just, we're just different, man. DNA is real. Everywhere, this is Elizabeth City. A city you probably never heard of, Elizabeth City. You probably never heard of that city. They have the exact same problem that every other place with some people live in. And the people offer the exact same solutions. DNA is real. Then that won't, wouldn't happen at that time. That's how Frosty Snowball was created. It's a safe space, not too far from home, and gets you a delicious treat, too. My main purpose was to make sure that I brought something positive to my community. And Houston wanted everyone to join the fun. That's why the menu has so many options, starting at just $2. You get a Tiger's great Club. product, and it's an affordable product. Something so affordable that everybody can afford. Even on a chilly day, customers rolled in to get a taste of the flavored ice. Behind the beautiful creations is co-owner, Destiny Thompson. It's just like an art in a snowball. You put different flavors together. You put different patterns. You add different toppings. And you make it look... She's doing that while wearing a white shirt? You a bad motherfucker. <laughs> God damn, my shirt would be fucked up. Not a, single, that... not a spot. Not a spot <laughs> on there. Yeah, she, she, she's, a, she's amazing, man. I, I would have to wear fucking... A goddamn fucking hazmat suit to fucking do this job, man. Well, I just, I don't know. This is just giving me vibes. I don't know if anyone on the panel has like a brother or sister around your same age. And like you're fighting over like, mom, she, she spilled my ice cream. Um, Like, this, what is this giving me? And I don't know. It's not going to work, though, because it's like, well, what if the kid wanted blue and you ran out of blue? And then well, you like, say, ah, have you seen this? <laughs> have you seen this interview with a woman on the street and she gets interviewed by interrupted by a, a drive by? Yeah, we did that last night. Okay, yeah, listen, man, to answer your question though, Ebony, nothing works. Why not try ice cones, man? Why not? They're not free, though, <laughs> right? They're not, they're not free, free. <laughs> but. <laughs> I mean, like, at this point, man, I mean, I, you guys know I'm not for all these solutions. Try anything. <laughs> well, my, my, hey, you know what works is hey, actually. Stop crying. Shit. Well, uh, quick story. So my sister actually quit driving and quit drinking because she was driving me home one time when I was like nine. And she was uh, dr uh, drinking at the same time she was uh, driving. And a cop pulled her over, like, literally three houses from my mom's house. Like, literally, you could see the house from where the cop pulled her over. And because I was the good kid, I was like, hey, can I just go home? My house is right there. And then the cop was like, um, no, we, we just have to ask you some questions. I was like, okay. Well, there's a bot open uh, alcohol bottle in the front seat. And... <laughs> And um, my sister ended up going to jail. And my mom, when she came, because like I said, she could, she could see her, her daughter um, being pulled over in front of her house. She got so mad at my sister that she just let the cops take her. Like, fine, just take her. Um, and my sister quit drinking that day. So if you, if you quit this stuff, like as soon as it happens, with no, no recourse, I think that fixes it, but at the same time, when it's like everybody's like, "Well, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be easy on these kids," it's like, "No, you need to go pick out your own switch and pay the consequence." 
Um, salute to Alexis Winter, man. Are we more excited for the month-long 24-hour gay disco or Juneteenth? <laughs> a dude was Turkish. That dude was Turkish from what I heard. Yeah, yeah. Salute to Alexis Winter. Lovely Alexis Winter, man. Coming through, man. Listen, yeah, I, 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 I he looked Turkish. I, I think I nailed that one, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm getting pretty good at this, man. Um, uh, yeah. Right. See, she was Turkish too, so maybe that was like kind of like a thing. Yeah, but they're everywhere up there, man. I'm telling you, man. I was, I was taken aback by that. That's one thing that was I was taken aback by how um non-black that because I've been going up to South Jamaica for 25 years almost, right? Since my family moved from Brooklyn to um South Jamaica. And 20 years ago it was like goddamn Nigeria. Now it's like, you know what I mean? It's like Bangladesh and fucking Turkey over there, man. A lot of them people over there, Jack. Okay, really, South, really, South Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, and I'm, well, I'm I'm talking about like on the way. South Jamaica is still pretty black, but I mean on the way down there, that whole you know what I'm saying like all of Queens is blackity black though. Um, but it, it those people have, those people have cut. They're there. They are there. They're on the streets. They're walking. They're well, driving. As you get as you get and, more more Western Queens, it's more like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 up there, man. So I don't think it. I don't think it would have to be a targeted attack. But yeah, let's let's see, let's let's see how these snow cones, because you know this this little girl is you know definitely you know prone to violence. So her being down here is kind of helping out. The well, crowd. no, 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 no. The, the, but the ice cream can actually block bullets. That's the thing. that's true. Freeze the bullet. Or at least slow it down. And to get a taste of the flavored ice. Behind the beautiful creations is co-owner, Destiny Thompson. It's just like an art in a snowball. You put different flavors together. You put different patterns. You add different toppings. And you make it look good. You make it taste good. The different options keep Jessica Skinner coming back every day. This time, she was tempted to try something new. Banana pudding is, is smack now. This is my first time trying it. It's actually good. She doesn't get snowballs just for her. Skinner gives a couple extra dollars so neighborhood kids can get in on the fun, even if they don't have cash on hand. I didn't have it when I was coming up, and it's just something that I do. I support. That's just the environment Houston says he wanted to create in this neighborhood. It, it, it's like a dream. Summer's rolling out and kids are getting out of school and the owners tell me they're looking forward to it. They can't wait to see all the smiles on kids' faces. One snow bottled. Snow cones. Hopefully that's not a cash only kind of place. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna get robbed at some point. Um, 